Whew. Good morning. Today, today's a big day. Not only are you gonna see us smashing some big old crappie here on Lake Gunnersville, but I get to take an icon, a legend in the fishing world out today. I grew up as a child, probably since I've been three watching him on the Outdoor Channel Saturday mornings. Like, hopefully you guys are watching my videos, you know, it's a, it's a blessing to be able to film and put content out for you. But he was, back in the day, you only had what was on TV coming at you to watch. And Roland Martin was one of the legends that I watched growing up, and I have the opportunity and the blessing to be able to take him out fishing today. Uh, we're going to be filming. We're going to be filming some for his YouTube channel too, but I'm excited. He's on the way. He'll be here in a few minutes. Probably going to fanboy out for a second. I'm excited. It's going to be a good time today. Yeah, we're going to jump on the boat. We got the rods rigged up. We got something cool I'm going to have him do when he gets here he doesn't know about. And then we're going to put the boats in start fishing. It's going to be a fun day. It's beautiful out. 47 degrees this morning. A little chilly. We're going to bundle up and get out there. It's a it's a cold fall morning, but it's going to warm up and be a wonderful day. So if this is the first time you're seeing my channel, please subscribe. I put out a ton of content. We got a video coming out every single day in November. Stay tuned for that. And remember, if you come to Lake Gunnersville, book our tiny home cabins uh, right on the uh, water by the state park on the uh, a mile from a couple different big boat ramps, three different big boat ramps. So, all right, we'll see you guys in a sec when he gets here. Folks, he made it. He's here. He's setting up. You're gonna be filming for your channel today too, right, Roland? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, tell him. Hey, tell him hi. I tell you what, folks. YouTubing's the way to go. It and is. Andrew, you got a nice, nice audience. Thank you. You, you really thank do. You. You're doing really well. Thank you. And well, uh, I've been at it a little. How long have you been at it? Too about long? five years on YouTube. Okay. I'll, yep. I'll, I'll maybe five or six. But anyway. Awesome. That's My awesome. son Scott's helped me out a lot. Yeah. Scott, yeah. He's got a booming channel. Yeah. He's got a. He's got six hundred thousand members. Yeah. Like one seven. Yeah. And hey, you're doing good. You're, Thank you're, you're growing up. Thank good. you. I tell well, you. I tell I, you. The advertisers, and that's really the thing. They 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 enjoy us doing the YouTube as much as as anything. Yeah, I mean yeah. that's a big deal. It you is. Know? It is. It's and, the realist plus, stuff. It's a how-to thing, and, and I know you're a how-to guy. And today I'm fishing, of course, with you and Will Fowler, and, yep. and it's going to be a just how-to to do this. Whatever yeah, exactly. It is. We're talking about electronics. We're talking about good crappie fishing. Talking about maybe some schooling bass in the process, and yeah. and we'll we'll do some how-to, and we'll show you guys how to catch them. Because I guarantee you, we'll we I think we're going to catch them. Yeah, yeah, we're going to catch them. But I got I got something else for you. What's that? Um, I've been following you my whole life, Roland. Yeah. Uh, as a child, since I've been three, I'd wake up Saturday mornings and I'd watch you on television. Oh, I tell you, that's a good deal. And just to just to show you, oh, I got the top ten secrets. Oh man! VHS tape, and you were just talking about tarpon fishing. You're catching a giant tarpon on there. I know, isn't that something? Isn't it, that great? And I, I want you to sign my VHS tape. Isn't that that's an old? You you can't even find a place to play these anymore. You can't even find yeah, the machine it. to even I know play. It. It. That's going to be on the wall for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a funny thing. This this particular bass. I was with Fred Ward down in Mexico, and he'd made a cast, and he had a guide that was broken. You know, the uh, the tip top yeah. had, had a crack in it, and the, and he set the hook, and the, and the plug broke off oh, on this wow. on this fish. Really? But it didn't hurt him much. So I took my plug and threw right behind it, or this lure here, that yeah. little, that little yeah, thing. Yeah. Threw right behind it, and the fish ate it. It weighed uh, wow. almost 13 pounds. Oh my god! And it was he had just he had just hooked it. Wow! And and, and I caught it. That's awesome. It was I was kind of fat then. <laughs> about 40 years ago yeah you wrestled one out of lily pads in there on a shiner too yeah, okay let's see uh, what do you want to do it's just uh just wherever uh, they call you andy or andrew 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 yeah okay. yeah so i'll just put a eh. thank you Roland. that's awesome yeah i'm excited to get to go out there with you today i should have done this in, in black that's awesome 
That's an old tape, isn't it? Go. Yeah, yeah, it is. We that did that thing. Yeah. I don't know how long. Yeah, I don't know why we did that thing. I know it. Like 30, 40 years ago. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. But let's I go out you. there and catch them today. Hey, oh, listen, you're gonna, you, I'm gonna, I, I'm not the crappie fisherman. Okay. I'm, I'm, okay. I, I am gonna be all ears. Okay. Because, okay. I mean, I can fish. I can catch about any kind of fish in the world. But yeah. I need some help. Okay. Crappie, well, okay? we're we got a few brush piles that might okay. have a bunch in them. Okay. And, well, I'm, I'm and we're I'm gonna pull out live scopes. You can watch. Them oh, either. I know. That's that, that's what we're gonna show show today. We're gonna try to yeah. show the audience. The the, 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 the the beauty of live scope, the yeah. beauty of, uh, well, in this case, uh, you're using live scope with Garmin. We're using, using uh, Active Target, target. Yep. Lawrence, yep. but Lorance. It's all good stuff. Same concept. And we'll show uh, we'll show the audience the steps involved yes. in catching these fish. That's right. That's it. That's right. That's we're it. going to. So we're going to put the boats in, get out on the water. Okay. We're graphing around for brush piles that are holding crappie. I'm out here looking on a creek channel drop where two creeks meet, just looking for somewhere the bait might stack up. Uh, where the crappie might hang and if you can find a stump or a brush pile in that area you're gonna find some fish oh look at that look at that look at that guys there right there is a brush pile I think there's some crappie down in it there's not a ton around it there are definitely a few in it we're gonna try that that's what it looks like on side imaging right there uh, nothing off to the side though let's try it they are in Will's boat for the moment. They've caught a couple, but they said to roll up here and fish with them for a minute. Now, Andrew, Andrew's gonna, gonna show us how to do it. <laughs> we are gonna see. Well, I'm getting bites, Andrew, but I'm, I'm missing them. You're getting bites? Yeah. We should be able to make them bite, I hope. They are finicky. These are these are probably the big ones. That last one was pretty good. So sometimes when they get finicky like that, you roll up on top of them and just dead stick it and they'll eat it. Otherwise, it's time to move. Hey, let me back. You got it. Good? All right. Watch what you're doing here. So I'm going to zoom in on them. Okay. You can see my jig there. Yeah. Oh, Look at him come up. Yeah, yeah. There oh, he yeah, is. You got him. You got him. You got him. We saw him come up. I saw him come up. Woo! Oh, look at that big old crappie. Woo! Son. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. That's a good one right there. Oh, man. I'm going to try that. Look at Look how he ate it. Oh, man. He took That's it down. That's how you want him to eat it. Okay. He threw it right out there. Here. Yep. About that far. Yep. You got it. Watch, 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 watch see it. See it come down? Yeah, yeah. I see it. Where is it? Right here? Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, let it come down a little farther. Yep. And let it come down a little farther. Oh, you just have. You just have one come towards it. Just stop it. Just slowly raise it. Oh, he left. Hmm. Huh. Uh, did you see him chase it? I did. I saw him chase it. <laughs> that's yeah. a good one. That's a big old crappie there. Yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a 12 incher. Woo. All right. Okay. Well, Here, let's get a picture for frog okay. toss. Yeah. Right. That's a good one, Andrew. Thank you. That was a good one. You know, we're, we're, we're drifting off the spot. We are drifting off. I didn't want to spot lock because uh, we might play bumper boats. I got you. <laughs> Let me get back up there. We'll get right up there. Well, it was beautiful watching him come come and get you. You see him eat it? Yeah, I could see him eat it. He came after it. You were talking about it. Yeah. And he came right up on it, and we he ate it just perfect. So I'm going to go in the same spot. Yep. I'm going to go right out there. Yep. Right there. Yep. Where's my where's my bait? There you are. Right there, right there, right there. Falling right down. down. Yep. Go down. And then kind of get your jig to the top of them. Yeah, okay, right there. There's just one coming at, after. Lift, He's coming just after. Just lift up slowly. He's coming after. He's coming after. He's coming barely after. lifted up. Barely lifted up. I got you him. got him? Yeah. Got him. Look at that. Yeah, I got him. I got him. That's a big one too. I can see him. I can see him. Look at I that one. I can see him. I can see him. <laughs> Nice. Good job, big, Rolling. The biggies, huh? That is a stud. That's a big one. Yeah. That's wonderful. Good job, Rolling. Look you gotta make a crappie fisherman me after, after all. <laughs> it's fun, but isn't that it? That was cool. And by lifting it up, I could see the fish coming off the screen and mm -hmm. chasing after it. And boom, he got it. Big, he wanted big, it. Big, beautiful 12, 13. That's a real crappie. nice one. That's a good one. Woo! That's a big one. And for anybody that think a scent doesn't matter, I yeah. have been thrown five times yeah. without a bite. Woo!
Good job, okay. Rowan. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Hey, good. <laughs> hey, well, I'll tell you, you guys are showing me a thing or two. I'm telling you, this is working out good. They're fun. This is really it's something. kind of a dicking. Oh, he hit it. It's really fun. It is a dicking. And I got a, a translucent one and a black and chartreuse. So I can. Okay. Black and chartreuse is my favorite, but when they get finicky, they like that little finicary. bit of translucent. When they get finickery. All right, they are about right there. Got him. Got him? Yep. Is he on a double rig? It, double it was rig. on the double jig rig. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. Yeah, he's a jumper, too. Woo! Look at that size of that guy. Wow. wow. That's, a good, that's a good coffee. Man. That's a fat one. That's a nice one. <laughs> he's got a back but You on did it. a double rig on that one, huh? Yep, yep. You got a little split shot uh, halfway in between each jig. Get down there a little faster. Yeah. Loop knot on both jigs, too. Okay. A little translucent one, black and chartreuse. He hit the translucent one. Now, Andrew, we're we're actually doing a YouTube too at the yeah. same time. Yeah, kind we of are. Double, double duty here. <laughs> double good. YouTube. A double YouTube. That's good. That's it. Well, I'll, I'll put mine on YouTube as well, but I'll, I'll, I'll get some of the footage off here. You bet. Now, you get the audio out of out of this camera. Yeah. And the other cameras behind behind uh, my cam my camera guy. Got yep, Carrie, yep. Carrie say. That's it. My, my, I've, I've taken Kerry by the way, this camera guy. Yeah. Taking him into the jungles of Brazil. We've been all wow. over Mexico. We've been all over the place. That's fun. Together. Yeah. Traveled all over. Yeah. And nothing beats one. the thump. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Roland. Oh my gosh, Roland's got a giant. You got your drag set? I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'll step forward a half a step, I'm going to pull the net out. I mean, it's gigantic, whatever it is. If we it's step it's forward it's a half step, like, thank you. Like I hope we catch it. Oh man, you thought you had the log. Let's look. What it, oh, it's oh, it's look, look, we're on, look. It was, what was, it was it? huge. What that, was it? That is one fish right there, that, that big thing. That's what you had. Oh, look. Hey, you know what it was? Hey, look what it was. It was gigantic catfish. Oh my gosh, he slimed see, you See up. all the slime on the thing? It was a big 20 or 30 pound catfish, what it was. Slimed you up. Slimed me up. Get me off. <laughs> so, big catfish ate the jig. He did. Isn't that something? Now? Woo, he's got one. Oh, that's a big oh, one. Gosh, that's a, good that's one. a big one. Woo, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Jaron. That's a stud. Nice. Put that in the box. Yeah, hey. that's going to be a picture fish hey, right there. Hey, if it were that easy, I'd replace you. <laughs> Yep. Right now. Yeah. Oh. There they come. He's got it. Got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he let it go. I saw him. He's still. He's he still following it. it. He hit it again. <laughs> he hit it. He hit it again. Probably right now. He's on it. <laughs> That's awesome, Roland. <laughs> How much fun is this, though? He's two of them hit. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Go pro, go. Go pro, start recording. Dude, you I caught a one. big one. I got one. Get him, Roland. I got one. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Are you doubled up? That's a good one. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. one. That's wide. See him come up. He came up right on that thing. I tell you, when you first get up on a brand new brush pile like this one, yeah. you can see you can be really going crazy. They're really going crazy. <laughs> Well, it, I'd be like if they don't engulf it, it's, I mean, when they just pick at it, they're really good at that, you know? They are. You see, they're on the, they're on the left side. You see them? They're up on the front of the pile now. Got him. That's yeah, a good one. One That's one well. Just kidding. <laughs> he's a keeper. But he's not a giant. I got. Oh look. Let's see, buddy. 
<laughs> That's a good one, Will. Now, Will, when you when you come out on an average day, say, yeah, what, what would be a good catch? I mean, what would be a yeah, catch? you're good, man. I'm not uh, filming This right time now. of year, I mean, just as far as numbers, if you want a brush pile hot like this all day, I, I mean, with two boats like we're running, we could probably catch 150, 160 fish. Um, in the winter, when the water gets cold and they really school up, I mean, it's easy to catch 100 a day. Well, now, what's the limit here in, in uh, Gunnersville? Right now, I think it's 30 per person with a minimum of nine. On a typical trip with Andrew and I, we'll keep a dozen if we're keeping them, okay. and we typically keep a size that's between 11 and 13 inches. Anything bigger goes back, anything smaller goes back. Okay. Just, you just, a few so that, that, yeah, that, well, that's an eater. Yeah, that's a, that's that's two really nice black and crappie tacos right there. Okay, that's so. good. <laughs> Got him. Baby. Little baby. Yeah, one. you got a good one. Tiny this guy. All right, son. That's a big one. Will, look at this guy. Woo! I'm telling you. There's your rod. You're making a coffee fishing rod. Thank you. Give me that. I, I'd broken my jig off, and Will said, oh, I'll retie. And I picked up his rig and got a good one. Beautiful, brother. Yeah, that's a good one. Way to go, Rowan. I'm going to throw the old double jig rig down to him. Try that out. Yeah, I was trying to, get my, trying to get back over where I could see you so that wouldn't happen to you. Look at them, they've moved up. Let's Got get him. Off the... Oh, that's a good one. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. Oh, yes, sir. That's, that's fun. There, that's a real nice one. That's a good one. Woo! All right. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Now, how many. <laughs> in the winter time they'll get bigger yet right yeah yeah they they get bigger and bigger so what the really big crappie are doing right now in october is roaming around on bait balls in your channels on your flats and it's really hard to pinpoint them they're somewhere different every day and every hour chasing bait but as the winter approaches those bigger ones lock down the structure and just relax and then you catch 12 to 15 inches in the winter on the same stuff we're catching 10 to 12 inches right now. Got him. Oh, Andrew just caught one right behind. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's it. That's awesome. Got him. There's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, another 10 incher. <laughs> that one that flopped off. All right. Got him on that front side of that right pile. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a real good one. Oh man. All right. That's Ooh. That's almost as big as one rolling put back in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He That's ate good, that man. thing. You can't even see the one. jig. Can't even see Ooh. it. Oh. Yeah, we got him deep. Yeah. He's going on the fillet table. 
Man, he wanted it. That's a good one. All right, we gotta put that thump chill on there. Okay, folks. Again, we're we're uh, we're in in Andrew's boat. It's Andrew Nordby. Yes, sir. And uh, you're gonna start the, uh, the the tournament circuit pretty soon, and you're gonna be Thank fishing you. the uh, what the uh, what, what circuit's at? It's the Major League Fishing, uh, the Invitationals. Okay. It used to be the Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, good yep. good luck. Well, you, Thank I you. think you're gonna do well. Thank you. You know, I it hope seems so. so. So many of the guys are are really capitalizing on, on, on what you're doing, and it's, it, that's that's the key to a lot of the big tournaments. Yeah. It's, anyway, okay, so what we just use, put some, uh, that, that what, what is that stuff we just put on there? It's thump gel, and yeah. it's better than a crappie nibble. I mean, crappie nibbles typically fall off after one fish, you catch about 20, and that scent just stays on there. It's, okay. It's awesome. So when they get up behind it, they're following it. They're watching it on live scope, and they they'll eat it. Now, now what we did, we left Will over here, and he's fishing some other brush piles. Yeah. And what we're doing is a stump deal. We're gonna try to find the bigger ones that are roaming, maybe tucked to a stump or two. Okay. We're not fishing the the big schools right now. Okay. We're fishing for the big ones. For the big fish. And okay. one or two on isolated stump rows. Yeah. Well, we've already caught. We haven't shown everything on camera, but we've already caught like 40 crappie today. Yeah, we've caught a lot. So we've caught plenty of crappie. Now it's just a matter of trying to get a trophy. Let's get a few let's trophies. Do, let's, let's, do <laughs> let's do it. I'm gonna spot lock us here for a minute. Oh, they were coming see that one on that stump? That's a big yeah, see, that's a big one. That's, that's a big 20, one. That's 25 feet out. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, Andrew, let's, let's, let's see how you do your magic. I did have All a strike. Right. I did have a strike. Okay. It's coming there. You, it's 25 feet. Sinking he's, down. He's sinking down. I'm gonna stop it about right there. And reel it to the pile. Yeah. And once the once I notice that that lump turn and see it. Yeah. He didn't chase it. Nothing chased it. Oh, there's one coming. He's coming after. He's coming after. Okay, he got, got him. He got it. Got it. Yeah. First it, stump we come it, it, to. It, it, it just perfect. Big. It's, is it a big one? It's not that big, but it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. There oh, we that's go. A good one. That's a good All right. One. Well, that was pretty. Cool. We are going to run into some little ones, but yeah. typically this is gonna, where we're going to find our bigger bites this time of year. There you go, rolling. If you can hit that one. 25. Pretty good. I think so. Let's see it. Let's see it right there. There it is. All right, you're gonna. They're following it. Did he hit it? I got him. I got him. Get him. Uh, I don't know what that I was. I don't know what it is. Feisty. It might be a white or something. Uh, I saw him come after it. Yeah, stripe. Like Got a stripe. Yeah. yeah. You see those as well. White bass are prevalent fish in all the Tennessee River lakes. They, sometimes they have they call them yellow bass. This, this is probably this might be yellow. I don't know if that's a two white bass or a yellow bass. Yeah, I think that's a yellow. We got a school of whites coming through. There they are, they're shooting up at you. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Yep. Big one? Yep. Big white bass? Big white. Big white bass. <laughs> <laughs> are there some stripers they in here? They fight hard. Right? There are stripers in here. Yeah, they are. They are big. That's a big white bass. That's a good one. I catch a lot of these deep cranking in the summer. All right. Bit it right out of that school swimming through. <laughs> you get them about three pounds and they're pretty pretty formidable. Get yeah, they're animals. good to eat too. They're good to eat. Really? This is a good one. He had a giant big chasing fish, it. Big fish chasing him. No, just he didn't touch it. He was like an inch from it. 14, 14 or 15 inch or probably big one. White. I don't know. Yeah, that's a yellow. Is it a yellow or a white? Yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow. Well, it was interesting. You know, a little bit ago, uh, he caught a uh, a white bass, and the yellow bass. 
are, are similar, but they're just the stripes are more pronounced. Yes, and look and how smaller, high up those the higher spines. the higher dorsal fin, yeah. and it's a little bit longer fish. The white are a little wider. And this is about yeah. as big as they get. I right, mean, they right. get a little the bigger. The yellow bass aren't very big. The white bass get get four or five pounds. They get Ooh. Good, good, good. Yeah. You gotta watch them too, or their gills are real sharp. Yeah. Kind of like it's what they call the operculum cover, right there. Okay. Operculum cover. It's real sharp. Yeah, it is really sharp on these guys. I'll let him go. Well, he's falling it. 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 Yeah, he is. We need it. Ah, oh, God. Got him right what by the time? boat. Big one? It's a decent one. Big yeah. One? Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Look at this guy. Yeah. Woo! Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, folks. <laughs> wow. Hey, we've caught a lot of good we fish today. We have caught a lot today, Rolling. I'm, I'm missing them, and I'll tell you what, folks. This has been a been a blast. These guys have really, really opened the door in this electronics business. And Will, hey, thanks for introducing me to everybody and getting me going. And I'll tell you, this has been a heck of a deal. And Will Fowler, I'm telling you, son, you're... You're the you're the first class guy, and uh, thanks for thanks for working all, it all out. And, hey, well, thank you, thank you. We've caught some nice big fish. Sure. Hey, well, folks, <laughs> if you want to catch some beautiful crappie like we've caught today, hey, come on down to Gunner's Reel. Look some of these guys up. I'm telling you, this is something else. Woo! <laughs> it's a blast. Soon. Hey, thanks, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Well, Roland, I had a blast, brother. Hey, we caught some fish, well, and you showed a me a fish. thing or two about how to catch them. That Did was I? Anything. Did I? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Well, you know. There's another guy named Cody Huff yeah, out, uh, in Missouri, Cody. and I did uh, a bunch of school and bass fishing with him with okay. the same units that you have. Is that pretty much the same system? Out deep? Table rock? Yeah, and, and it was actually at Bull Shoals. Okay. And what was so amazing was I didn't realize that school fish moved as much as they do. Now, the crappie are more stationary and actually easier to catch yeah. than the school bass. Sure. But what, what you showed us today was just dynamite. Thank you, Roland. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the live scope footage on the screen. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. a pleasure getting to fish with you. Watching you my whole life growing up has just tickled me, so thank you. You know, there's so much to learn each and every day about bass fishing. Yeah. There's just a new horizon every every single day. Yeah. No, there is. And, and it's, They're and different it, every day. And, and, and I've seen so many innovations mm -hmm. in my career of 50 years of bass fishing that it's just amazing. This is just one of them. And you know, there's a next, yeah. there's a next chapter uh, oh, next yeah. month, so there's going to be something else new that's coming along. There is. We don't yeah. know what yeah, it is. Right. And two, three years down the road, I have no idea where this technology is going. But you're you're right on the, the leading edge of it, though. Thanks, man. Well, I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to show you the the crappie we caught real quick. We're gonna pull them out of the well real quick just to show you. And we're gonna end the video. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna have a little a little meal. Yeah, we're gonna do a little fish fry. There's the thump net. This Good thing meal. is brand new, prototype. I'll link it down below if it's for sale yet. But that's that's amazing right there. Don't have to dig for crappie out of your well anymore, but had a blast. Will, Carrie, had a blast. We caught a bunch of crappie. We're going to get out of here. We'll catch you on the next episode of Fishing with Norby.